Hey, guess who I have? Ah! I don't know if you can tell, but I am super excited. He's been like 11 months in the wait since I ordered him last November, and I didn't even get my notice yet that he was gonna ship, and he's here! Ah! I am so excited. Like, I was just telling my one doll friend who is the only doll friend really close to me about his arrival because I, of course, ordered four. Um, I am definitely keeping at least two of them for myself. But my doll friend, he just started his collection last December and he missed out on this order. So he will be getting one of them. And I'm glad I ordered a, a couple extra. Um, the other one, I am still thinking about what I'm gonna do. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to get him out of the shipper. It's Knopf Ryan again! Ah! Oh my goodness, okay, okay, okay. Out of the shipper time. Okay, I've got him out of the shipper. Are you guys ready? Ah! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! He's so handsome! Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I can't believe I finally have him! Oh my goodness. Oh. My goodness. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay. 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 Hey, you got it. Okay. Let me turn them so you guys can see them better. Um. Oh. My. Goodness. I am literally sitting here like starting to cry tears of joy and happiness and excitement I oh my goodness and he looks so good in the box oh my goodness oh my goodness now the only thing that could make this better is if he's a made to move and unfortunately uh from what I understand he's not Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. He is amazing. Okay. Y'all, I have I I have to um take a moment. So, um this video is not like an hour long. <laughs> um Okay. I'm going to show you the box and then then I'll take my moment. The only thing that can make this better, too, other than the made to move, is if they would actually put Ryan on the back of the box. Right? Don't tell me y'all didn't think of that. Ooh, sorry. Sorry, y'all. Don't tell me y'all didn't think of that. <laughs> would be awesome, too, but oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take my moment, and then I will be back, so it will be like nothing to you guys. Um... But I, I definitely need a moment, um, and I will come back with him out of box, so you guys, um, yeah, I, I will do my unboxing and everything then too, okay? Oh, wow. Oh. Oh, he is so good. I have to say, he was probably my favorite character from the movie. Um, oh. And finally, I have not ordered the perfect day yet. Um, I do plan on getting one. Um. Oh, love him. Okay. Okay, taking my moment. I will be back with him unboxed. Oh my goodness. Like, ah! okay. I took my moment. I'm back. He's out of box. I am still blown away. Um. Yeah. Oh. Okay, first off, his face 
is a little sticky, I think, from whatever they used for his hair. Not a big deal. I can work with that. As you see, I have brought Denim Ken into the background here, and he is eyeing up his replacement. Um, he is definitely being replaced. Um, whew. Yeah. Because I will have one of these in box, and, um, yeah. It may take me a minute, though, because I'm just gonna keep him here as he is, probably for a couple of videos that I film and for a while. Um, and his, his denim, denim Ken back there can watch, um. And, uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, so he comes with a stand. He came with a certificate. Um, his stand's just the waist holding. It does bend forward a little bit, his, uh, stand piece here. Um, that just may be me, but, um, it does bend forward a little bit. He comes with these white shoes we've seen before. Uh, same with the pants and the headband. Um, the big thing is his hoodie. So his hoodie has a nice big hood, no Velcro in the back. It will be um, one of those ones that you're going to have to pull on. He does have a real pocket in the front and the drawstrings really, really do work. So um, I love his hair like this. I am definitely going to have to look in my stock of uh, Ken Made to Move because he is not going to be, um, he is not going to be a same skin tone as this guy. And, uh, as you can see, he's lighter. He would be, um, like Buff Ken size. He would be, uh, number five Ken, um, from the looks collection. I disturbed Mike over here standing, and now I've got to get him to stand again. All right. Those shoes he's wearing are amazing. I love those shoes. Um, you can get him to stand pretty much all the time wearing those shoes. Um, but yeah, so he is going to be getting a made-to-move body, and um, I am thinking, from what I've heard of people who had Perfect Day Ken, he's probably going to be that wheelchair Ken with the sunglasses. Um, and a, like, tie-dye, like, shirt. Um, I say this and then I won't be able to find him. <laughs> um, there is a new, um, wheelchair fashionista, Ken, and I'm not sure of his skin tone, so hold on, I'm gonna go get him. So, I have a couple options, and, um, we're going to start with... This guy here, sorry, forgive him, he has no shoes. Um, he is the Brandon face mold. I don't remember his number. He's probably kind of hard to find at this point. Um, but if you have an extra, he... So he is like a little bit light, but he might work. Um, he is, he's a little different colored from here to here, which I hate when that happens. So he might work, he's a little off, a little light, um, but if you have an extra of him or are willing to, you know, give him up, he might work. Then I also have, and I have this guy wearing those same black boots that my customer over there is wearing. Um, he is a pretty good match. Um, I don't think this guy is easiest to find and I think he's kind of expensive because um yeah he's wearing the outfit but uh he's not a great match for Jacob um but yeah so he would work if you have one and want to um he is like a really good match um So, if you have him, he's the long-haired guy. Um, and then, um, this is another custom of mine. He's, he's like, ready for football season. Um, he is the wheelchair fashionista that I was talking about. 
he would be um, another good match. Maybe a slight bit off. Yeah. So that wheelchair, he has, um, it's a white shirt with like yellow and blue and orange, I think, tie dye on it. Um, he would work if you have one. And I think I have one. I have to go digging into my reserves. Um, I hope I didn't sell him or get rid of him. Um, I had been, but I think I still have one left. So hopefully I have a couple because, um, I'm going to need one when I, I, I get, uh, more Ryan's. Um, but yeah, so he would work. This is my custom. He's a football guy. Uh, actually based on a real friend of mine, um, who is into that team and he's football all football season. Then I have, and I haven't unboxed him yet. I have this guy who, um, as you can see, his head's turned a little far. Um, I am thinking he is probably going to be the easiest current match to get. Um, he is Fashionista Ken 196, and um, I'm, I wasn't even going to do a review on him. Honestly, I got him just to like compare his skin tone, and uh, so I was going to let my kids play with him, my boys, because um, <laughs> they were complaining about lack of articulation, and they are six and four. So, um, yeah, maybe, whoa, this stand is not cooperating. There we go. Okay, finally. If it clicks, it's in. All right. So he has a nice complexion. His face isn't too bad. Too bad about the holes. Well, they're not that bad, actually. There and there. Um, but yeah, so his arm is turned. All right, hold on. might be a tad too dark. What do you guys think? I think he's maybe a tad too dark. But, but, who was a tad wrong for their body and was a good match? This guy. So let's see if Jacob looks for this other body. Oh, heck no. All right, so we still have this weird matchup. Um, Jacob is still not going to work for this other guy. Um, it's not that, it's not that bad, I guess. But for being off, maybe I'll sacrifice Jacob's head. <laughs> um, sorry, Jacob. I mean, he would he, he he would work sort of. If you can see, there's just a slight bit darker hue to this guy than this guy has. Um, I don't know, he might, he might work a little better for Jacob. I'm not entirely sure. Don't really have any sun today. It's kind of dark outside, like darkish, eh, cloudy, but yeah. Yeah, guys, I think I'm going to do it. I, th I think Jacob's going to go on this body and, uh, um, we're going to have a floating head syndrome because, and, and no body because I, I definitely am going to put him on a made move. So let me do that and I'll be back. Um, yeah, so I'll get into more details then. Um, his, yeah, his pants are elastic waistband. I mean, we've seen them before, so let me do the head swap for you. Guys, I totally wanted to show you. He comes with his horse necklace too, and, uh, his happens to be on backwards. So, um, you might have that, but yeah. Okay, so I have got him on this body, and it is <clears throat> it is a good match. Um, maybe the slightest bit off, but it is it is a good match. So uh, Jacob matches a lot better to this body. That was that guy's body. Um, so yeah, he matches a lot better to this one. So hey, if you need a body for Jacob, it is this guy with the outfit, you know, that face in the wheelchair the whatever number I said earlier. Um, but yeah, that is a much better match for Jacob um, to make him made to move. And uh, yeah, so now he finally has a better body. Woohoo! <laughs> um, as you can see, 
it is just a little bit off, um, but it is not that bad. So if you really do need him, I think he's going to be the easiest to find, this guy in the wheelchair. Um, so he may be what you need to go for until you can find him better. Ken heads are so much easier to like exchange. Um, I always recommend heating them up a little bit, but they definitely are easier to get off than Barbie. And um, I don't recommend doing it all the time, but oh, cool, check it out. He balances in these big white shoes too. So yeah, but here you get a better look at the pants and um, the label, which was on a lot of the other ones. So um, and it's kind of undies, <laughs> Ken undies. Yep. Okay. But yeah, so they're just sweatpants and the shoes are like the same and just a cuff at the bottom. So, um, he does have some cardboard at his knee on both legs. So just be careful of that. Um, but yeah, um, the hoodie is really nicely made and it's really, really good. Like the the hood is lined and everything looks really good. I didn't see any issues with it. Um, like I said, you just pull on and off. This will fit Barbie. I don't know that this is going to fit Buff Ken. It is snug on him, um, but it might. Um, but yeah, so um, yeah, just be careful. But I know these are going to be really expensive when people are selling their extras because I know you're going to find them. There's going to be people selling them. I will not be selling this one. Um, this one's for me. I do not have a life-size one, but that is okay. Um, <laughs> he's kind of looking like the guy from the one uh, short on Instagram um, that I saw by one of my favorite story, one of my favorite storytellers anyway, where she's doing a, just, she's doing a Ken uh, story. And uh, uh, yeah, so. His necklace is now facing the right direction, and I am just super happy. Um, editing me will actually add in here if the wheelchair Ken that I was telling you about, that was from my Larry Custom, the football guy, if that one will actually match, because I'm going to check that. Um, but, oh my goodness, he's going to get redressed into his outfit, um, and then he's just going to stand back here and just look handsome because his face screening is really good. He has a couple of dirty spots, but I think it's because of the glue, gluey, whatever stuff from his hair. Um, but yeah, so I am probably going to leave this plastic piece on with his bandana for a little while just so it protects his face. Um, but yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this and all my excitement. If you didn't get him, don't worry. I'm sure somebody out there will be able to help you out, but if not, this is going to be the piece that you're going to need to recreate him. You can find his pants and his shoes and his bandana from the uh, fur coat Ken. Um, that may be a cheaper option for you, those pieces oh, and his necklace. Um, but those are probably going to be cheaper ways to find that if you want to recreate him and then to use a perfect day Ken and just change his hair. Um, you know, if you really need him, go for the perfect Ken and, and try it that way. Um, but I just don't want anybody like putting themselves into a troubling financial situation because they want this guy and everybody's going to sell him for crazy money. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do with my extra, um, but uh, I definitely know that if I do sell him, it is going to be for more than what I paid for him because he's an exclusive. And I'm going to try to be reasonable, but at the same time, like, it would help me financially to sell him for hire. So I won't be crazy, but, you know, if that's what I end up doing. Yeah. Sorry, guys. Um, but... I had a good show last year and I was able to get him. So I, I want to be able to recoup some of that cost and I could really use it right now. This was a great excitement for me. And for all the dolls I've been passing on lately, I, I am, I'm so excited. And I hope you guys heard that earlier at like, oh, this was a much needed excitement. 
and uh, I'm excited to get Perfect Day. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to wait till he's in store um, to find a good face, because I am definitely one of those I gotta have a good face, because um, I will probably get one to put in, leave in box, and probably one to unbox, so yeah. I better go. I have responsibilities I need to get to. I have been working on some stuff, dull stuff and other stuff, and I need to get this edited and loaded up for you guys to watch, so like and subscribe. Thank you for your time. Hang in there. Don't worry if you missed out. There is some nice person out there and you can always recreate your own. You just gotta find the hoodie. But you know, like I've said before, don't worry about FOMO. Yes, it's very difficult when you have that happening and I can totally relate. But hang in there. You will get him if you really want him. It just may take some time. Everything's going to happen when it needs to. Don't push it. And uh, sometimes you do have to push it a little, but... Sorry, guys. I hope nobody's having FOMO now. Hang in there if you are. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye. Have a great day.